Hello and welcome to my January collection update where I'll be showing you all, all the merchandise I've picked up in January from Big Finish to books to comics, product enterprise and DVDs. And also what's in that box. So without further ado let's get cracking and start off with the miscellaneous stuff then we'll work our way through Big Finish, then the comics and then we'll go on to the books because there is a rare book. Kicking off the miscellaneous items we have Revisitations 2 containing the Seat of Death, Carnival Monsters and Resurrection of the Daleks Special Edition so I am hoping to review all three stories and review Revisitations 2 um, The main reason I picked up this set was for the documentary um, on the Resurrection of the Daleks Special Edition called Come In Number 5 which is basically um, an overview of the 5th Doctor era on how they produced it, how Davison's first series came to be, how they cast um, Peter Davison and it's presented by David Tennant. It's a very good um, documentary. If you haven't checked it out, check it out because it is a very fascinating The next miscellaneous one. item and the final miscellaneous item is this, this Product Enterprise Imperial Dalek. Now, this is the rarest of the talking uh, Product Enterprise Daleks because of him being part of this mail order system, um, which I'll talk about more in depth in my Product Enterprise overview. Um, he is one of those talking Daleks, but the batteries um, are gone and I managed to get him for 20 quid which is a very good price because he normally ranges from 30 to 50 so to get him for 20 quid is an absolute bargain and I absolutely love him and I would like to get another one because I think um, having two would look quite good having two together so yeah absolutely love this Imperial Dalek and uh, yeah love Right kicking off the audios we have Baker's End episode 2 Gobblenol Hall um, if you know from my last update, I absolutely fell in love with Baker's End, and this is no exception. I absolutely love it. I mean, once I listened to the first one, I was like, right, I need the second one. And I just love Baker's End. Um, if you love bizarre and quite wacky and humorous audios, then definitely check out Baker's End, because it's a lot of fun, and you can see a lot of Tom's own personality within that audio. Um, now on to Big Finish. Now, I got the replacement CDs for Quicksilver, which Big Finish didn't have to do because of... Um, they put the wrong artwork on, uh, or printed the wrong artwork, they put Absolute Power artwork instead of the Quicksilver artwork on the actual CD, so it's nice that uh, Big Finish did that um, for us. Uh, on to the Starmen, the January um, monthly range release, um, which I'm very excited about because if you know me, I absolutely loved um, the Fifth Doctor trilogy. It was a real standout for me in terms of Big Finish, and uh, hopefully this will deliver. Sees a return of Adric in the uh, main range. And speaking of Adric, Cold Fusion arrived after the delay. Um, I've listened to a bit of it and I'm enjoying it so far. Um, I'm hopefully going to get a review out of it. And uh, yeah, it be interesting. Lovely uh, six parter there. Now, I did a bit of a bundle shop on Big Finish. I thought, you know what, I might as well take advantage of having a bit of extra cash. So I thought I'd pick up the Philip Inchcliffe Presents bundle. Um, we've got the Genesis Chamber, I haven't listened to it yet. Um, but yeah, apparently it's going to be weaker than the previous Fuller Pinchcliffe Presents, and I absolutely loved the previous Fuller Pinchcliffe Presents Another box bundle set. I got was the Series 3 of the Early Adventures containing the Age of Endurance, the 5th Traveller, which is the one I'm absolutely least looking forward to, or just, ugh, I don't like the sound of it whatsoever. But it might surprise me, and it might prove me wrong. Then we have the Ravelli Conspiracy, which I'm looking forward to because I do quite like the historicals and this one sounds a very good one, it does sound very 60s. And the last one, the Sontarans, I've listened to a bit of this one and yeah, it's pretty darn good. Um, I am enjoying the Sontarans, I thought I wouldn't, but uh, yeah, it's proving me wrong so far, so yeah, it's good to hear. So that's the I big finish. the latest Dog 2 magazine, which is basically a 70s special, which I just adore because of the 70s is my favourite issue and it comes with this lovely uh, reprint of a third Doctor comic from a Countdown TV action which is fantastic and actually a pretty darn good comic. Speaking of third Doctor comics, I picked up issue 4 of the Titan comic um, range of the third Doctor um, issue 4 which I am absolutely loving the third Doctor comics, I'm not going to lie. So there's one cover there, the photo cover, got one of the illustrated ones there. and the lovely one there. Now on to what was in that big box and it was the complete history. Now Hatchet Publishing is a place where to publish the complete history had a sale on the complete history for a fiver so all through January they had the complete history on offer 
for five pounds up until the most recent issue which was um the power of the daleks one or the time heist issue i'm not sure um so i picked up seven and i'm becoming addicted to the complete history because i'm a absolute sucker for behind the scenes and production stuff because when i used to get the classic dvds i'd always um watch the makings before i actually watch the story which is kind of bizarre so the issues i picked up was the day of the doctor and the time of the doctor um got this because i'm a sucker for these stories and I do enjoy um, Time of the Doctor, it is a bit of a guilty pleasure. And plus, um, we don't really know much about the makings of these two stories because obviously Confidential was cut so there's the lovely artwork um, there. Other issue I got was issue 7, um, containing the first three Tenth Doctor stories and I, again, I love all these stories. You might think, God, you've chosen some bizarre ones to pick out, but I absolutely love all three stories. I mean, New Earth is really underrated. I do love um, New Earth, I'll just show you the artwork. There's the artwork for the three stories. I haven't I've only just got these today um, on the recording on the 21st of January. Then we've got um, Power of Kroll, Armageddon Factor, and Destiny of the Daleks. Yeah, told you bizarre choices, but I absolutely love all three stories. You know, Power of Kroll used to be my favourite from the Key to Time trilogy, um, but then I rewatched the Armageddon Factor and just fell in love with the Armageddon Factor, and that's now my new favourite from Key to Time. And Destiny of the Daleks, I just have always loved. So there's the artwork for three stories. And then we've got the first Fifth Doctor issue containing Cast Ravel, Forty Doomsday and Kinder. Um, yeah, absolutely love that. Lovely artwork. Let's show you the artwork now. There we are. And I got uh, this one, issue 34, um, containing Power of the Daleks, Highlanders, Underwater Medicine and Moonbase. Um, yeah, so it'll be quite interesting to look at the production side of this on Cast and Trout and then making uh, his first four stories there and then we've got the artwork there as you can see and uh, yeah i got to get myself some third doctor goodness uh, because the third doctor ones is the one I want to complete and do you know what I probably will end up trying to get all of them because that's how I am so I've got issue 16 containing planet of the Daleks green death and the time warrior three absolute 10 out of 10 stories for me I love those stories a bit so there's the artwork for those and finally, the third Doctor's first issue there, containing Speared from Space, the Silent and the Ambassadors. Again, three 10 out of 10 stories for me. I absolutely love those, and I'll show you the artwork now. So there we are, lovely artwork for those. So that's the complete history. Um, all seven issues, what I managed to pick up, um, each for a fiver. So if the sale's still going on, if I publish this before the end of January, definitely check it out because they're worth the money for now a fiver, the really. Books. So the first book before we get onto the rare one is a virgin missing adventure which is Lords of the Storm, a fifth Doctor and Turlo book. Um, apparently the Sontarans are absolute brutes in this, so that's um, a thing I'm looking forward to experiencing. The David A. McKinty books are the books I just really interest me, um, like Shadow Wang Chiang, Wages of Sin, and um, yeah this book is a prequel to the Virgin New Adventure Shakedown. Um, so yeah, now let's go on to the rare Book. to the final book again the last book is a virgin book so what could it be could it be a missing adventure a new adventure right time to reveal it and it is the dying days yes i've managed to pick up this one of my most wanted uh doctor books because if you know me i'm a massive fan of the ice warriors i just adore the ice warriors they're definitely in my top three uh doctor monsters and everybody loves the eighth doctor so this is literally a match made in heaven um yeah i've got this nice little protective case for it um because i don't want it to get damaged because it's such a lovely um book now i've had this weird obsession with this book um because back in 2014 i downloaded the pdf of this book and i read a bit of it and i just loved it um because i thought i'd never get this book and to finally have it in my hands is just unreal um absolutely so good to finally have the dying days because it's just one of those things I never thought I'd have and just to have it in front of me is just brilliant and to have this is just amazing because I'm just a massive fan of the 8 foot doctor and the ice warriors oh just beautiful yeah the dying days what more can be said I've heard that um, it's quite a fan favorite book but apparently some of the ideas within this book are quite bizarre and quirky um, by Lance Parkin so um, we'll have to see um, some of you might be wondering how much I paid for this. Um, I paid 40 quid for it, so that's quite good because it is listed on Amazon for 150. So to get it for 40 quid, um, 
is pretty good so I'm very happy to have that so I've got the two um, Virgin New Adventures what I wanted I've got Lung Barrow and uh, yeah the Dying Days sadly the Dying Days didn't beat the record of 1p but uh, nonetheless I'm happy to have the Dying Days so yeah the Dying Days is uh, in my collection now so that concludes this collection update as you can see there is an all manner of stuff and variety the complete history the good old big finish and the DVDs, Project Enterprise, the third Doctor Comics and the Dying Days just surveying over it all so yeah absolutely glorious, hope you guys have enjoyed this collection update and I hope to see you in my next video whatever that will be, most probably a review knowing me so there we are, January collection update complete so thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video so for now stay awesome and I'll see you in the next one so thank you very much and bye bye